Hi everyone, today in front of me I have the Samsung Galaxy A13 smartphone and I wanted to show you the best display settings that you can change on this device. So let's go ahead and start. The first display uh, setting is, well, first of all, let me just go ahead and open up the settings app. Uh, look for the display section and here we are. So basically there are the standard uh, dark mode feature which uh, allows to change the color scheme of your device into the darker and more contrast tones if your eyes are tired or if the ambient lighting is not sufficient enough. So if, if you need to just go ahead and activate it right uh, here in the settings so you can also um, access it on the control panel of your smartphone. The dark mode uh, shortcut looks just like this, like it half moon basically so you can turn this mode on from here as well mm, there is also the feature that allows you to not only uh simply select the dark mode but only set it up somehow so it basically just lets you to set some schedule for it so for example uh in order to set it up uh, for a night time where the ambient lighting is lower so you can go ahead and turn it on here and get some schedule enabled so the next setting is brightness which you can regulate either manually by uh, shifting this bar or you can just uh, set it up as an adaptive brightness which will uh, regulate the brightness of your smartphone automatically uh, according to the ambient lighting you have uh, it is also this eye comfort shield mode uh, that basically just filters out the blue colors of the spectrum and uh, makes the colors of your display warmer so in case uh, you feel like uh, you are experiencing a very high level of an eye fatigue uh, you definitely gotta check out this function that is called eye comfort shield as i say uh, you can also alter the font size the font style uh, you can make the bold uh, the font bold or change its size pretty easily just by altering this bar and as you can see the font size will be drastically increased that is also the screen zoom which basically just uh, enlarges all the visuals that you'll have on your display let me show you how will it look if you increase it a little bit I'll just leave it like that uh, you can also manage the full screen modes of your apps but as you can see in my case all the apps that are on my phone they um, support the full screen function uh, by default so there is nothing to manage basically mm, a very standard option a very standard feature that allows you to alter the screen timeout time uh, there are values from 15 seconds to 30 minutes so choose what uh, what value fits you the best so moving on to the next uh, setting that we have in a display section it's navigation bar it's a very standard thing for samsung's uh, it allows you to switch between two navigation types the first one being the buttons navigation type so basically you have these three buttons on the bottom of your page uh, on the bottom of your screen so this one is responsible for opening up the recents app uh, apps menu this one is responsible for getting back to the home screen and this one is responsible for just getting back to the previous uh, page you were on uh, you can also change the order in which these buttons are placed and there is also the second type of navigation that you can go for uh, which is swipe gestures navigation so as you can see uh, the, the buttons have disappeared so there is just this little gray bar on the bottom of your screen uh, so let me show you how you can navigate uh, via the swipe gestures so in order to get back to the home screen you just swiftly swipe upwards swipe this bar upwards just like that just a second in order to open up the recent app you hold and drag it slowly to the top just like that and basically in order to get back to the previous page you just swipe right all right i'll just get back to uh, I'll just uh, get back to the buttons navigation type real quick. Uh, we are moving for forward, so uh, there is the touch sensitivity feature, which is a very good feature that allows you to increase the sensitivity of your screen, of your display. Uh, in case, for example, you have the very uh, thick glass installed, 
the screen protector which allows you to protect your screen from scratches uh, damages and all and all kinds of bad things that might happen to it and there is also the screensaver which basically allows you to uh turn on the function when uh you put the phone uh, into the charging mode and uh, while the phone is uh, charging it just uh, sets up either some colors which will look like that or photos uh, photo frames or photo tables uh, i do not have any photos in my gallery just yet but yeah there will be uh photos on your screen which you can choose from so basically just like that i'll put it back to none and there is also another cool feature which is uh, another cool setting should i say which is called visibility enhancements so by uh going for it you can also mm, be presented with uh, a little bit more settings that you can uh, alter so there are some uh, various display modes that you can choose from so default display mode is uh, the mode we are in right now there is the high contrast display mode which is basically the dark mode and the large display uh, display mode which just uh, increases uh, all the visuals and uh, makes them bolder so i'll get back to the default display mode real quick uh, you can also choose from the uh, once you've chosen the high contrast theme which is basically a dark mode you can choose from the styles of it so for example you can uh, go for the yellow visuals or blue visuals or there is also uh, an option for you to download some custom themes so if you are interested just go for it the high contrast fonts will just uh, make the fonts uh, well <laughs> Mm, will increase their contrast level. The high contrast keyboard will uh, enable black letters on yellow keypad. The highlight buttons will not be available for us uh, at the right now, but uh, that's fine. Uh, as far as I know, as far as I'm concerned, this settings is related to the high contrast theme. So let me try it once again. Yes, as you can see, this switch uh, switches uh, have been automatically turned on. So that's why. I'll just get back to the default uh, color inversion, which is basically also the setting for the high contrast mode. Uh, it, there is also this remove animations feature or option. Uh, so if you don't like the animations, you just can go ahead and turn it on, turn them off. Uh, you can also reduce the transparency and blur, and set up the color correction and uh, customize some size of the visuals there is just like the separate section for it and zoom options so as far as i'm concerned that was it for the display settings so uh that was it for this video as well so thank you for watching and bye bye